Okay, the first debate is in the bag, but what comes next for the nominees? Eyewitness News political analyst David Yonkai joins us now with uh, some of the insight on the first presidential debate. And David, you were watching along with us, a lot of hype on this debate. Do you think it lived up to all the hype? Well, I think the hype was basically one of the things that were, was the only true thing about the debate. Uh, the hype basically will tell people that it was a great debate, but you have to take a look at the fact that when you're looking at these type of candidates, 85% of the Republican people and 85% of the Democratic people are going to vote for their candidate. So there's a lane that exists right now for the independents. And I think that you have to take a look at how this debate played out. Donald Trump was incredible in the sense that he he went through, he at 916, that's when he went off the rails. And Hillary Clinton was one of the people who was at her very best at this point in terms of like her facts and the way that she presented herself. All right, Dave, so what do you think about Hillary Clinton's unveiling of her fact-checking website? I think the unveiling was a good tool for her. I think that Trump actually uh, retorted in his typical way. So I think the, it, I think the debate is a draw. I don't think you're going to see anybody change their minds on this. What the big thing is going to be is going to be the undecided people in the states of Ohio, in Pennsylvania, and in Wisconsin. Wisconsin and in Florida. That's going to tell the tale of the tape. But you know what's going to happen right now? After this debate, the big thing that's going to happen right now is people are going to be on Twitter, people are going to be on Facebook, and they're going to reinforce what people saw on the debate. David, a lot of analysts said Trump, in order for him to win this thing, all he has to do is stay calm, be knowledgeable and basically prove he can act and look presidential. You don't think he did that though? I don't think he did. I think at 916 he went off the rails and the facial motions in terms of what he was doing in reaction to her. Um, I, I know his people are going to enjoy it and they're going to support him. I mean, look at that King's College poll that you just referenced. You know, 75% of the uh, students are, are going to vote for him. So I don't think that has an effect because I think the people are going to vote for him because he's a change agent. And no matter what he says or what he does or how he performs, people are going to react to him. This is going to be a very, very close race. Dave, who do you think won on substance tonight? On substance, I think Mrs. Clinton won. And style, uh, his supporters <laughs> are going to say Trump won because of the fact that he uh, was a uh, no holes barred type of guy. He came right at her, and so on style, I think people are going to give him style points, even though a lot of the things he was saying was just the same old campaign speech that he gave throughout the entire campaign. David, I think we have time for one more question tonight. Uh, was there a topic that you were hoping to hear tonight debated that wasn't? Uh, Nick, I think we heard everything we needed to hear. I think that we they covered every single gamut of it. And if people are going to be reacting to this, you're going to be hearing that there was probably too much information and too much back and forth. Now, you said you kind of thought it was a draw. Do you think there was a clear winner in America's eyes? Well, I think a clear winner was Clinton in terms of the in terms of the facts and in terms of the way that she presented herself and the way that she comported herself. But you have to remember that this election year is not anything like we've ever seen before. And the very fact that Donald Trump showed up on stage, and even though he was a little bit of, uh, what shall I say, confrontational, his supporters are going to go for him. At the beginning of this session, Segment. I said 85% of the Democrats are going to vote for Clinton. 85% of the people who are going to, Republicans are going to vote for Trump. And there's a lane that exists to try to get those independents. And um, this is going to, this is, this is not over. All right, interesting. David Yonkai, thank you for your analysis tonight. We appreciate it. David thank Yonkai you. there. Uh, next debate, by the way, is set for October 4th.